Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. Thank you for joining me today. And as you can see, I am gonna make us an amazing, delicious white pizza. Oh my God, it's gonna be so good. So I just have pizza crust, a tomato, some hot pepper flakes, a red onion or any onion, some ricotta cheese, garlic, some um, spinach, some cheese, and my beautiful, amazing peppers that I roasted, peeled the roast off. I'm going to do a video on that for you guys, but I'm sure you've seen it. You just put it right over your burners or put it in the oven and blister the skins, and I preserve them in olive oil, and oh my God, they're so good, and they got a little bite to them, which you know I love, so we're going to add those to our pizza today in a little oregano. It's going to be so good. Let's get everything started and stay tuned, guys. Okay, first things first, I'm just going to put my pizza shell on a recyclable piece of parchment paper because I made bread on it yesterday, so I'm going to reuse it. And then I'm going to use this to slide it in onto my pizza stone, so that'll make it easier. And then we got to cut up our onion. Um, the spinach I'm just going to put on raw, but you can cook it if you want, or you can use frozen. But just make sure you take all the water out if you do use frozen. Let me get you in the camera. <laughs> and I, I love lots and lots of onions. Um, I would normally put uh, mushrooms on this. This is kind of like a veggie. Because I was going to put sausage on it. But tomorrow I think I'll have some sausage and put on. All right, so just cut these in very thin slices. I like to use the red because they, they're sweeter, they taste better, and they look prettier actually in my opinion. So that's going to be enough for what we need. And I'm just going to cut them like that. That should be good. We'll put those over to the side. And then I'm going to cut my tomato. And like I always tell you guys, cut on one side. So you only have to cut the core once. And then I just kind of go like that. <laughs> and then we're going to slice some really thin slices. And anything you see, you guys see me putting to the side, don't worry, I'm not throwing it away. I'm saving it. It it will be for another something else. Yeah, let's cut these in half like that. That should be good. Um, I am gonna give the spinach a little rough chop, just so they're you know kind of in bite sized pieces. And then for my garlic. I keep my garlic in the free refrigerator or freezer and I keep it in there with olive oil. So I'm just going to use some more olive oil in here and we're going to brush it on our, our uh, pan pizza. <laughs> All right. So I have the olive, the olive oil and garlic. We're, we want to get some garlic on there. So I'm just going to take some out like that and then brush the entire thing. You can smell this garlic, it's strong. I want a little more garlic, but no more oil. <laughs> so that's why I was going to cut up some fresh for this recipe, but you know, it's already made up, so why bother? <laughs> so, there we go, guys. I like a lot of garlic. You can crush yours up smaller, of course. And for all those who are going, oh my God, that's too much garlic. But yeah, I like, I like mine with a lot, a lot of garlic. So, but you do you. And then I'm going to just put on some cheese. And this is just some shredded mozzarella. I don't want to go real heavy on it. Just, you know, 
because we're going to do the regatta. So that should be good. Oh, I do have some more in the bowl. <laughs> Let's use it up. What was that? About a cup, maybe? Okay. So, my gosh, you guys. These beautiful peppers. I can't get them open. <laughs> Let me get my uh, little jar opener. All right, you guys. So, I'm having trouble getting this off. Because it's, like, sticky from, you know, all the goodies. So, this is my little... Um, what do you call it? Can opener. It has ridges so it can catch on the thing. I got this from Pampered Chef years and years ago. It works like a charm. You just set it on there, turn it. Oh, it's hard to do. I usually hold, oh, hold it up close to my body and do it. But And these peppers, you guys, are absolutely beautiful. Look at those. Oh, my God. There's garlic in there, too. So I'm going to put a little oregano on my pizza. And this is still from my garden, guys. My outside garden. Um, I brought them in at the end of summer, I guess it was. And I just dried them, and I'm still using them. I'm almost out, so I got to get some more. Or I got to get some more growing, I should say. All right, and if you guys see a stem on there, don't worry about it. I'll find it and take it off. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Of course, I love hot pepper flakes, so a little hot pepper flakes. Well, or for me, a lot of hot pepper flakes. <laughs> so now we're going to put some peppers on here. We're going to lay them on there really pretty. So this can look really pretty. You guys can go check out my other uh, veggie pizza that I made. I'll leave the link above. Look at these. Oh my gosh, you guys. So good. Mm. And I like my pizza loaded. <laughs> and I mean loaded. With all these yummy, yummy goodies. Let's see. Let's just do one more. That should be good. Put one more in the middle there. Oh, all right. That looks good to me. Uh, now we're going to put on... Oh, I got to get all my other... My other little treats. Let's put on our spinach. And I was saying earlier, you can cook these... Or use frozen, but just make sure you squeeze all, all the, uh, the liquid if you have the frozen ones. You can actually saute these in a pan, too, but I don't think it's necessary. But it's going to cook. We got the oven on 450, the highest it'll go. Now I'm not going to be able to see my beautiful peppers. But I know they're there. <laughs> Let's put on some tomatoes. And, whoops, you wanted to fall out of there. Get back in there. And the red onions. As I always say, guys, simple and easy. <laughs> and like I said, I go heavy on the onions. You, you know, do what you like. If you don't like onions, leave them out. If you do like onions, like I do, load them up. Because they shrink down to nothing. I hate when you order a pizza from a restaurant and they got three onions on top and two mushrooms and that just blows my mind because I don't know who likes theirs like that, but okay. <laughs> okay. So let's put on some ricotta and I'm only going to go light on this little dollops because you don't want your little slices to be too heavy and my favorite word, cumbersome. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. O M G. I love ricotta cheese, you guys. Ricotta cheese. I could just eat it right out of the container. 
I buy the spoonfuls. So look at that. Let me have a bite. Mmm. Of course, my furnace has to always come on. Oh, it shut right off. Has to always come on when I'm doing a video. All right, it's going in, you guys. I hope you come back to watch the finished uh, pizza and enjoy it with me. So I'm going to put it on 450. Um, I'm just going to use the, the package direction says uh, 8 to 12 minutes. So we'll see. I'll let you know at the end. All right, it just came out of the oven. 10 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Look at this deliciousness. Mmm, I can't wait to eat it. The crust is great. Let me show you. Under there. Oh, it's hot. It's nice and crusty. And actually, I guys, I cooked it right on this parchment paper. I just slid it in onto my pizza stone and slid it back off onto the sheet pan with the, you know, paper. Just using my hand like this. It makes it easy. Let me get it set up so we can get it cut. All right, actually, I'm going to show you just how simple it was. Just like this. Take the paper and just pull it up like this to get it onto the sheet pan. And then to take it off, I just did the same by when it was up there. Slide it right in there. Simple and easy. Pan still clean. <laughs> and let's set this over here so it's probably too hot. And yeah, look at this, you guys. And uh, let's get a knife and cut it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna cut mine into squares. If you guys are from Geneva, New York, or if anyone else does this, we used to love them from Alice's Pizza. The original Alice's was the best. And they always cut them in, in squares. I'm not a professional cutter. <laughs> I never said that. You got to do it fast like they show on TV where they go boom and they pop right through it. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not that great. I'm not that strong. <laughs> this beats is tough. No, it's crispy. All right. I'm not going to sit and make you guys watch the other half. Let me do it. All right. Let's go in for a bite. This is going to be so delicious. Look at that. Let's listen for the crunch. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Go in for that piece. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 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 Ooh. Oh my God. You guys, give this a try. Oh my gosh. Don't forget, I'm going to put the link up above for my other veggie pizza. If you're new, subscribe if you like this. And thank you to all my regulars who keep coming back and supporting me. Make sure you're still subscribed. Click that like button for me to help me out. And oh my God, you got to give this a try and share my videos, you guys. You got to share and use this parchment paper as your, um, your guide. Excuse me. I was going to try my sill pad because I have a new sill pad that I love. But I don't want to burn that sill pad because I love that sill pad. <laughs> so just use this parchment paper and uh, never put your pan on your cutting board, on your hot cutting board. Always use pot holders even on your cutting board. This Formica stuff here that you see, that doesn't hurt. But I found that I have a little crack in my cutting board, and I think it's from heat. But anyway, you know, this pizza's so good. I got to go. I got to go. Be blessed, guys. Be safe. And thanks for always watching. Love you guys.